So what do you know about the Israeli and Gaza Strip conflict? I know that Israel and the Gaza Strip have been fighting for a really long time. So what are your thoughts and opinions about the Israeli and Gaza Strip conflict? I personally think that they should try to work it out peacefully because they've been doing it for so long that I'm surprised that other nations haven't taken, hasn't tried to stop it or like settle it peacefully or do anything of that sort. I just find it quite confusing that when stuff like ha stuff like that happens in third world countries, everyone just turns a blind eye and just doesn't try to help or fix it. I just find it really hard to believe that we all that we're all humans that we just don't try to help each other out what do you know about the conflict between israel and the gaza strip i know that it's an ongoing conflict between the city of gaza and israel over this area of land called the gaza strip that israel is maintaining control over and like basically is a big barrier between them and gaza is overpopulated and basically wants this land because they're overpopulated and they need more area Okay. And that they've been attacking Israel over it. Sorry. You're good. What are your opinions about the conflict? I think the attacks are unwarranted and they're considered war crimes by the UN and it's considered terrorism by the UN because it's like just killing people that doesn't care if it's if they're civilians or military targets, it's just shooting basically blindly and that's unwarranted and unnecessary. What do you know about the Israeli and the Gaza Strip conflict? Well, what I know is that the Gaza and the Isra and Israel have been fighting over this piece of land for many years, and that they've both been shooting just blindly at people. And um, I heard that Israel bombed a TV station because Gaza was uh, showing an inappropriate ad, and that's kind of what I know. So what are your thoughts and opinions about it? Honestly, I think this whole war is just stupid. And like my personal opinion, I think they either should share it or come to a compromise. And, uh, I know that like Israel had it first, and but honestly, they should just come to a compromise. So, what do you know about the Israeli and Gaza Strip conflict? Well, I know it historically goes back to biblical times and beyond with uh, Jewish claims of Holy Land being in that part of the world. And in modern times, with Israel's creation in the same spot, um, there have been many cultures that have claimed the area because of its significance. Not only Jews, but Christians and Muslims. So it's a, a place that has been, um, it has been a land of conflict for many hundreds or thousands of years. In the most recent uh, events with uh, Israel and occupied territories in in terms of uh, the view of other cultures or buffer zones or buffer states in the Israeli um, mindset is that um, Israel claims some territory as its own and then has claims to others that are con you know that aren't agreed upon by everyone in terms of the Gaza Strip I just know a lot of recent um, conflicts in my uh, lifetime where there have been uprisings by the Palestinian peoples who occupy most of the Gaza Strip um, against um, Israeli forces and there have been uh, battles back and forth, there have been missiles, there have been rocks thrown, there have been lots of um, conflict and uh, it's hard for outsiders like Americans who maybe are not of Jewish heritage to not sympathize with the Palestinians, only that it visually looks like the Israeli forces are so dominant that they're military versus sort of kids throwing rocks, no matter what, you know, who is right or who is wrong, uh, in terms of um, perception, I guess, by uh, outsiders, it seems like um, Israel is the big uh, 
uh, the big power and that the people there are trying to fight for some rights. Now, there's all kinds of different arguments, but um, that seems to be from an outsider's perspective. Um, so that's what I know about the historical conflict and some of the more recent conflicts. So what are your opinions about the whole conflict? Well, it, it's hard to say. I don't have a vested interest in that. I'm not of Jewish heritage. Uh, it's not a holy land for me or um, it's not a place that I have personal vested interest in. Um, however, I do have Jewish friends and I do have Muslim friends and it's, it's hard to pick sides when you have people on both sides of a conflict. I try to be understanding of both sides and understand their positions. Um, I know the United States position has been trying to create peace through my lifetime and there have been some times where peace has been, um, uh, peace has happened for a while and then the conflict flares up again. Um, the greater region, not just Israel and Gaza Strip, but the greater Middle East, the United States is involved in lots of conflicts from, from uh, historically Iran, Iraq, in Syria now. So it, it is a, a hot zone with lots of, uh, at least from the United States standpoint, interests. And sometimes they support the government, sometimes they support the rebel. Sometimes they supported the government, then moved to the rebels. So the United States depends on the time period, um, believes you know, who it needs to support. And especially with terrorism as the big topic, the ISIS and ISIL and um, Al-Qaeda and a lot of these groups, America's really anti-terrorism, whoever the terrorist is. It could be anybody, really, even an American. So that seems to be the, the big worry um, today, I guess, is for the United States standpoint, whoever's supporting terrorism is the enemy of the United States, in a nutshell.